Hey everyone, welcome back. Forgot something. <clears throat> hey everyone, welcome back to more Rogue Legacy 2 speedruns. We're just gonna get to it. We have a lot of rust to rip out. A lot of issues that I have that I need to not have as issues. Just the fact that I was dying to Enoch happens sometimes, but the fact that I was having trouble there. Ugh. Well, Oop. Oop. there's a path over to the left, but we're gonna go up here first. That is a silver chest. It is worth. I believe. Woo! Post 312, thank you very much for following. I really do appreciate it. How's it going? Glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. If you just want to sit back and watch, that's perfectly fine. We're doing Rogue Legacy 2 speedrun for a bit. Woo! Gotta make sure I avoid. Took a little bit of damage, thanks to the apple. Awesome, more equipment. Gosh, I think I have tree kit and chest, which ironically are the two equipment that... Okay, helm also doesn't matter, but you start with helm, so... Another silver chest. I always grab silver chests because I need equipment. I keep getting the equipment that doesn't matter because it doesn't increase damage output in any way. Alright, found book. That's good. We found more reasons to believe. And I think we're going to just warp to the main entrance, because we still need to find our dash. And it looks like there's a path to our right that we can continue. So, yeah. I'm trying to explain... I plan to explain through the next run so that more people can see it, but... Um, generally, we're just kind of going the route. Um, the route is kind of like a clock going from 9 to 3, just um, clockwise around a circle sort of theme. I am currently at way too low of a health. This is not okay. But I need to find, um... Hector's health increases damage output. Even though it's kind of scary to be at that low of a health. Ooh. Well, we're getting equipment, and we got Scholar Cape. Okay, that's good equipment. That's good equipment. We definitely got equipment this run. Though a lot of it was not valuable equipment, unfortunately. We still need to find Dash. Ooh. Just killing them because obviously if I get one shot, that's not okay. Don't have Dash, so I can't pull that one off. Alright, Dash could be there, and otherwise I might as well just keep going this way. Mm. That's exactly what you're trying to avoid. So now I have to reset this entire area. Ugh. Alright, get a good trait. Get good traits. Algezia is basically suicide. But it has Sir Quetzdiner and what the hell. What the hell, we'll go for it. This is probably a bad idea because Algezia is that bad of a trait. But... I'll freaking go for it. And it is actually better... To just not take the risk of having my characters become rangers, than to keep purchasing them. But yeah, we're in a bad spot now. While we have a lot of money from Algesia, which will be good, um, you know, if we don't get murdered instantly, because like I swear, Algesia is a lot like Austin of Jesus. It allows you to get like insta killed by attacks. 
Which is this a chest? Alright, so we found the exit on top again, so that's a positive. We're fighting our way through. Feeds are going good. I don't have... Oh well. Hyperion's re reduce my max health, but get myself some survivability to counteract the Algesia. Ooh. Gotta be careful though. I'm not sure. I think Algezi is going to check effect shield block. It's up very negative ways, if I remember correctly. So I have to be ready for that. Not worthwhile. Very careful. Don't really need fireball. We already have Sir Fred Steamer. I mean, Fireball can expand that, but I already have Magma Mass is already a good damage dealing spell. Just so weird knowing that like I could die in basically one hit. Well, unfortunately, we're hitting a lot of dead ends other than otherwise. So while this looked like it was going to go okay. Hey, finally grab this. Still very unfortunate. We lost so much area. We lost so much ground. We're basically just in recovery state. We really want to find Lamech ASAP. Get ourselves the extra plus 50% gold fighting Lamech. And leverage that gold to... Probably should have just used Magma Mass as well. Probably should have, you know, stayed around to attack that a bit more, but oh well. It's a bad mistake, but our main goal right now is just to keep it sub 50. And if sub 50 fails, then we go for sub hour. Like, right now, it's not even misfortune. That was just bad play on my part. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Oof. Yeah. Hope the day's going well. Hope the day's going well for you guys. Alright. So now we have to find Lamech and the ground... Lamech, the X mundi exits. So here's the mech. We need to find the Axis Monday mech exit, and we need to find the book. Alright, we have Leather Weapon and Scholar Cape. That's great. This also does mean I'm going to need to leverage my gold more, because... Um, so I have, like... In addition to having to buy Architect, I actually have like a bunch of things I need to buy with it. The problem is, because of Algesia, if I get hit by Lamech, it might actually kill me. Which is terrifying to consider. But we didn't. Or at least we didn't get hit by normal max significantly. Alright, so we get plus 50% gold, that will bring us to 1860 gold. There's the minimum to buy the architect. But we also want to buy Scholar Cape and Leather Weapon, which will be another 775 gold. So, gotta consider that. Alright, 
Glad I only got hit once there. Which, as I have Algesia, that is not a guarantee that I only get hit once. Alright, found book. Now I just need to find... There it is. Awesome! So the second life we managed to pull off, despite having Algesia, and by having Algesia, we get our gold gain. Um, I will definitely state, I feel like Algesia still deserves more than plus 50%, because lacking iframes is actually absolutely devastating. But we managed to pull it off. I think it should be 75%, personally. The only reason it's 70% now is because of the 20% gold increase from the bridge. Alright. gold. I think if we find just a few treasure chests with um, gold in it, we'll be alright. Because, yeah, as I said, we do need 700 more gold. Yeah, that's 700 more gold. Which is quite feasible with all this gold increase, but that doesn't make it easy. Woo! Chasers. We're dealing with chasers. It's not a drill. Out. Just to of going for that other chest, but I decided to get since it was so directly out of my path. Even. Well, I made it. Alright. Not where I need it to be yet, but we're getting closer. Hey, Joel, it's a guy. How's it going? It's going good on my side. Um, this run started off going a bit south, but it seems like we're recovering now, which is great. So our character right now has Algesia, which means that I have no um, invincibility frames. So I could get hit and then just combo into Oblivion. And that's actually what happens most of the time, so it's a very scary trait to have. Every hit is terrifying. Unless it's from a projectile, so it's... Projectiles only hit once, like so. But like, it is entirely possible I get hit by someone in like the ceiling, and I just bump into them constantly and can't get out the... Uh, I get stuck in a loop of pain, and the only exit is death. It sounds way darker than I mean for it to sound, but it's the... It's how it inert plays out. All out of the way. Hey, strong gun chip. All right, I can't read the entire combat right now. Um, as I said, my character has Algesia. Algesia, so I get comboed off. Like that just happened. Hit me twice. Bringing me to near death experiences. Thank you, Apple. I really appreciate it. If I could get me alongside you, I would. I would appreciate that even more. Nope. Alright. Well, we're going to this fight with 86 health. I don't care. 
Do you think Fisher Dry Link will be an exploration based biome like a city of state or later like the Sun Tower? That's a good question. Um, so I've always predicted it being um, kind of a boss rush area. So I figured. Uh, so I think it will be more open than something like the Sun Tower, but I think the the um, the general design will be more than that. So I don't think it's going to be as linear as something like the Sun Tower, but I think it will be um, focused linear, going down. Yes, I'm not even using my shield because the iframes of the shield won't last long. So I need to get out almost instantly upon using the shield. Ooh. Yeah, either way, I'm excited. And we did that without getting hit. I am proud of myself. I just realized we have Hyperion Rain, so even if I died there, it wouldn't have been too bad. A boss rush would be cool. So yeah, so the fish and dry lake, we know that the Stygian waters basically flooded the lake. Flooded the lake, so. The only thing I could think of is, since the Stygian waters is what corrupted this place, why um, estuaries became, why estuaries became void beasts, things of that nature. Um, I just have to believe this is the source of the corruption. It's going to be filled with creatures made by the corruption. Just absolutely brimming with them. See, so yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, boss versus Scar could be possible. Yeah, so I'm not saying, like... Um, it's like you go into here and you face the enemies you've been facing in the past. What I mean by boss rush is that um, it's going to be an area that is like focused on combat, heavy combat. So boss rush, I guess, would be a misnomer since boss rush is specifically bosses, but I think it is specifically going to be combat, combat, combat centric. There we are. Oh my gosh. There's my two lilies, and yes, you do have to damage boost for that one. We actually have access to Namah. Oh, what am I doing? Well, we popped open Namah's doors already. I am seriously considering, um, so I'm seriously considering, but I just chose not to do it, just facing them on now, because I only have 140 health, and I would get, gain back 20 of my resolve by, uh, facing them on and removing the lilies, but I just decided this character could do more. I think this character will be facing them on before, like, entering the Stygian study, but... I don't think I'm gonna, like, sacrifice the double jump acquisition for the sake of facing them off. That could have combo killed. And by that, I mean it, I could have died there because of Algesia. These apples keeping me one step from death every single time. This is actually scary. Whew. This is just such a tight space. Oh my gosh. I still can't believe we made it back to here again. Alright. Well, I'm pretty sure we're going to get two-shot by Nama. Which makes me think maybe that's a bad idea, but then I realize I'm going to get two-shot by everything in the Stygian study as well. And two shot by Gone Head, two shot. I'm gonna get two shot by everything, and Namal can give me plus 50 gold if I succeed. And if I fail, Namal is open, and I have 
Well, actually, I get three shot because of my um, Hyperion Ring. Don't even think about that. Four shots because the Hyperion Ring is going to be based off of the 180 health instead of the. Yeah, okay. We're facing them all on that grounding. Oh my gosh, did they give more time to Aldesia? Because, like, I am not suffering the way I'm used to Aldesia slaughtering me. Aldesia is usually a slaughtering destructive effect that's not worth, um, that's worth far more than a plus 50% gold increase. Well, I have not been suffering its ill effects. It, they might have made Aldesia much easier. Um... In Irad's notes, he mentioned that Estuary 2 Ball fled from um, the Dry Lake, so he is the boss of the fish Dry Lake. Yes. There's also so there's a bit more in his notes that um, is pretty important for 2 Ball. He fled down there immediately after the um, the infiltration, the enemies entering the gates. Immediately after that failed is when 2 Ball entered them. Um, hit in there. So it's entirely possible that Tubal is the one who led the invasion, the one who sent people in that told, that basically told the people, uh, hey, this is what that day is happening for what you want to strike. Um, that he's the traitor. So it's going to be interesting getting his, gay Tubal's notes as to why they, but why he betrayed the other estuaries. Something I'm kind of looking forward to in connection is that um, on their bases, by like this is all um, most lore is you know it's based off of the story of Cain and Abel, and Tubal isn't actually um, the full name. Their name is Tubal Cain, and no, it's not Cain. It's um, Tubal Cain is like means son of Cain or something of that nature. So the fact is they were probably the most like, to have their name based off of the person they are estuaries of, like, basically having their name connected to the king like that, I think that is going to have some sort of question connected to it. There's a, there's basically a lot of really cool questions and ways they could go with it, um, with the existence of Tubal. I'm really interested in seeing what they, what they choose. We have money. We have money. The big question is, do we use the book? We have double jump, but we don't have damage output. Why not? Take advantage of this Hyperion's read. Make it so that if I run into that room, I can actually take advantage of it and gain some insight. Could be a bad idea to grab the book now, but it'll be alright. And yeah, the fact that you could basically take the book when you need to take the book is kind of why it's hard to make splits for this game, because, um... Basically, when you... I'm having problems wording it. Because the book could just happen at a random time, it's kind of like we have splits, and then we just have this check mark that is, um, just, is book taken? Yes, no. Which, as you guess, a check mark, like, doesn't really fit within splits. And yeah, it's imperative that you grab book for the category.
I have no intelligence boost, so I can't do that one quick either. But yeah, if you have strength boost, there is some areas where you could do these faster. Full health, or basically full health. Um, book collected. Hyperion rings active. The needle's still there. We have fiends. We have options. Alright. Let's now head on in. Alright, we want to head left whenever possible. A lot of archers today. That was quite the rube. Like, literally every enemy was an archer except, like, two. And that room was filled with enemies. Don't want to lose my 10 points there, though I like to take that damage less. Do that, make it easy on myself. I recognize I took no, I got no additional damage boosts. Darn it. Ugh. Alright, Hyperion's Reen. Hyperion's Reen protects me. Oof. Get out of there before the eye frames fade out because I have trade so that the eye frames would fade out. Hyperion ring used. This game looks interesting. Never heard of it before? You, you Okay, so yeah, my Rogue Legacy 2. So the original Rogue Legacy was basically the game that popularized roguelites back in 2013. Like, Rogue Legacy came out, and then roguelites suddenly became like... I think that obviously Rogue was the original, but this one... Um, like, helped make it boom, the idea of not just the game Rogue, but the concept of a game where dying makes you strong, where you die a lot, and every time you get do it again, but with random generation. Like, this was, this came out before By Need of Isaac. Um, I'm not sure if it's directly quoted as inspiration to any of the big Rogue likes, but you could just tell to a certain extent the connections, the how similar some things, some systems are. Oof. But yeah, so the, the second one, as you can see, is currently in beta test, or in early access, I guess is what it's called. And... So I've been testing it out. All right, I'm gonna grab that chest and then return to main menu, because that's faster. We are nearly at 10,000 gold. That's a really good boon from a character with Algesia. Did not expect this character to last very long, to be honest. Alright. But anyways, um, yeah. So the game is already bigger than the original. It's There's a lot of cool concepts in it. So basically, one of the things worth noting is I have to die. In a, like, I'm getting all this gold. When I die, I then get to spend the gold to upgrade my character. So, or my next character, I guess. Because they're going to have different traits than this one, and I'm going to have to adapt to the new traits. So, want to get as much out of it as I can. Alright, well there it goes. 
That's okay, I killed a lot of bosses with him. Let's see, in muscle fibers, combative. Free strike combative sounds like a great way to kill, but also a great way to die. This sounds safe. Let's go combative. Let's try it out. We do have a well-rounded character, though, so combative isn't going to really synergize well with the smaller cape we're going to be grabbing, but it's all right. So now we, as you see, I died, so now I'm increasing the power of the castle. Ah, come on. So one of the things is you unlock different classes that all play a bit different. I'm quickly going to spend this gold at the blacksmith while I can, make sure, because the blacksmith is the way to get the best bane for your buck, basically. Because I'm a combatant, I'm going to max out that first. Hmm. Pop one there in case I need my resolve. And now we start locking the castle. All right. I wonder who the what the mysterious driver is going to be. Well, I know they want to bring back the characters from the original game, and we are missing out two characters. One is the elf that the gambling elf, and the other is the clown. I know a lot of people loved the clown and his little carnival games. So I know people are waiting for him. I can't remember his name, like Bozo or. Bingo or something like that. But um, I know they said that they're coming back and they're like figuring out in what way they're coming back, but they are coming back. Alright. I want to check that path to the right. Wait for all the spike balls because the spike balls are dangerous. So I have combative which reduces my, basically allows me to deal more damage, but reduces my health in half. As you saw, I'm actually already close to death from one hit. Do that to knock them away. There, this is what I've been looking for. All right, thank goodness. All right, so this heirloom is going to give me, so all the heirlooms give you special abilities. This one, Void Dash. These super long dashes that allow me to avoid Void Projectiles. For example, that Spike Ball is a Void Ball. That is something that I can now actually avoid, so. Oof. All right. Keep it moving. And... So, yeah, so what I did is I used the architect to lock down the castle so I don't have to re-explore the entire castle again. Um, there are other ways you don't always have to explore the entire castle, but... The fastest, least cost-intensive way involves. Just use the iframes of the shield bash. Sound good. Whoop. All right. Take care of issues. Ooh. God, just move through these challenges real quick. So yeah, these challenge rooms are always the same. Like there's a few variations in some places, but they're like super minimal. Like for example, um, the way I play that room with the eyeballs is different depending on which eyeball spawns first, um, how the spike balls start their initial launch, but like generally most players will never even consider such deeds. It's just the room with the eyeballs or, you know. All right, found Enoch, awesome. So I found everything I need in this area. So since I found everything, I'm going to just start completing bosses. So first I have to beat Murmur. And as a combatant, this character is better at boss fighting than exploring the Sun Tower. And the Sun Tower is basically the final platforming challenge. And at times, because of the random variance, it can be arbitrarily unreasonably hard. So, I like, and since it's the last thing, you can't really, doing it early is also extremely dangerous. So, since this is a combatant, they have half health, but increased damage. Platforming challenges doesn't really work with increased damage. You'd rather... Awesome. 
do not have the iframes to get through this, though, I don't think. So I'm just going to play it safe. There we go. Good care of Murmur without a point of damage. That always feels good. We don't need any of the iron in the chest. The iron is for upgrading in... It's for certain upgrades, which we will never reach as speedrunners. Like, we will just not play the game long enough to really take advantage of it. Um, but if, you, if you're playing normally, definitely grab the iron ore. But we're, we just need gold. So, like, to use iron ore, you first need to use souls. And, um, like... As a non-speedrunner, there will be little challenges that you could complete to get a bunch of souls, but... We're gonna try facing them from above, because it just naturally came that way after that first dash ended up going too high. I do not like this position, though. I will state that. I probably should have moved more. Ooh. I honestly did that for the iframes, and I just happened to do it right in time. Having the boss or void beast of the dry lake be something like Hero Dotus from Rogue Legacy 1 would be cool. So I think that is what they're going to end up doing, because it is, like, lined up to be the Herodotus boss fight, basically. The feat is, I will just state, as a speedrunner, Herodotus is hell. As a speedrunner, Herodotus is very much more thoroughly designed of, gets to a level cap to make me easy. Like, the difference of facing it at level, um... 20 versus level 200 is far more significant than against other bosses. With other bosses, it's just like, um, the difference, like, your notice as a character is a fight that gets out of control if you can't kill fast enough. And, you know, when you just don't have as many damage upgrades. Here comes the issue. I will say boss fights look cool. Oh yeah, boss fights are awesome. By the way, sorry, I did spoil that. I'm not... Hopefully you just don't remember, but this was supposed to be a trick boss fight. But I already know the trick, so not much of a trick to fight. Not much of a trick. Fun or your first time. Anyways, we now have the final boss. This is definitely the coolest looking boss fight, but it's also the one that takes the most amount of time to get used to. Um, definitely no people are still having trouble with it. I am going to just grab the damage boost, because why not? We're here. So yeah, there's these secrets that like you can, um, there's like story elements and it will tell you puzzles to figure out where these things are. But of course, again, I've already, I know the secrets, I know the puzzles, I speed run this game. All right, cool. Yeah, if there's any, like there's a bunch of places where they improved um, this game compared to its original. And if there's anywhere that's the most improved, it's the boss fights. The boss fights are just amazing in this game compared to the original. Oh my gosh, they have entering the room in Okay, so I have now confirmed they have uh, protection. When you enter the room, you cannot take damage for a limited period of time. Unfortunately, I just die in one hit, in two hits anyways, and I'm a fool. Alright, so, Barbarian, or Knight? Knight has Icarus Wings. Knight has Icarus Wings. Alright, we're gonna try to see, so Icarus Wings is, my jumps are a lot more awkward, but I have a ton of extra jumps, which can be huge. Alright, hopefully that's all the upgrades I need. That should be more than enough, honestly. 
good intelligence, good strength. Like, should have everything to take care of. The next boss is bad for speedrunning. Since it's early access, they will probably tweak it to be less annoying in the next patch. So it's not bad for... It's bad for speedrunning in a way that's not... That's good for the game. Like, it's the style of boss that's bad for speedrunning. Is the way I would describe it. It's not bad for speedrunning. It's just... Like, I would say never really worry about speedrunners. They will find a way around things. It's just... If you're trying to learn the speedrun, um, Hero Dotus is, like, the challenge that keeps people from um, speedrunning the original. Hero Dotus and the final boss just made, um, when I got into speedrunning, um, Rogue Legacy 1, it was just like, dear god, it was something else. Alright, let me get my iframes. So yeah, I really appreciate those iframes when you enter a new room. It's going to make Sun Tower so much more acceptable. And you will see there are certain points where you have blind entrances in Sun Tower. And to have some iframes during those points definitely is appreciated. But yeah, anyways, the way Sun Tower works is it's just a really... Everything's designed to keep going straight up. And the boss is at the very top. Very hard because it's at least platforming sections, and because it's you're supposed to be at a much higher level, you die in two hits about. So now we are going to use the Ranger. This is the only time I ever use the Ranger. It's because they have um, their special ability is a platform to get higher up, and we just basically need to get to the top of this tower. The thing is, a lot of our issues aren't with the platforming challenges, it's with the enemies in the narrow corridors, and the Archer doesn't actually have a solution to that. So, this might not help me much at all. Uh. But yeah, I don't... Like... Hero Dotus was not made intentionally bad for speedrunning. It's just, like... It makes the approach difficult. Is all that I was trying to get at. I'm like, speedrunning this game is already difficult as is. I don't think they're too worried about it being more difficult as they add a difficult boss fight, you know? Alright. There we go. Where we died last time. It's because of the charades, honestly. Just damage boost. I was trying to just damage boost because there's just too many projectiles. Those two blue orbs just keep chasing you, so I needed to get out of the way to the best of my ability. Alright, we're going to try a leverage free strike and shield bash. That's the plan. We, um, because we don't have the wings, our jump is more extreme. So the problem with the wings is your jump is short, making it hard for you to escape certain situations. So I'm hoping that this will deal with that issue, basically. Not having that will help deal with that issue. And then the spell is good for getting around enemies instead of fighting through them. In my opinion, any boss fight is good as long as it isn't bullet hell. Well, well then, uh, I have some news for you. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> but yeah, Shield Bash, it's just this iframe sort of maneuver that I do there to get, let my go through projectiles without having to deal with them. All right. Alright. Ah! Come on. Leverage it! Oh my gosh! 
You saw how I just went through all those bullets. Oh my gosh. Alright. Gotta keep going up. I think. If it's just you two. Awesome. So we can just go in here. Come on. No! Dead end. Gotta go through here. <laughs> Alright, please don't be too high. Alright, so there's the exits. That direction straight up only is done for the exits for this area. Problem is... We have seeking missiles and such between us and there. And low enough health. Oh, there's the exit! Ah, there we go. Awesome. Whew. Made it, but barely. Alright. I like that I read as a throwback to Kadir from the first game. Yep. So, here, Destiny Bound is the final boss as of currently, until they add more bosses. And as you will find, this boss is kind of a bullet hell. So, I enjoy it because of the way that the bullet hell works, but it's definitely something to get used to. Can't deny this one takes a little getting used to. not as bad as the bullet hell as I'm sure other bosses are, because the game is designed so you can do it without being hit. As in, they actively make sure there's little pockets that if you know what you're doing, you could jump into those little holes in the air for a period of time. In fact, um, Ranger is actually not bad in this fight, even for me. So I have very, my control scheme is built in a way that makes Ranger worse than it normally is. Um, usually you're supposed to have, um, full control, like, you know, have a deep, like, you know, the way you would have full control of the directions on a analog stick, but I just use the D-pad, so I don't have as many control of directions I can shoot my arrows, and it really affects my options as a ranger. Base attack is dependent on those directions. But yeah, any hit kills me here, so I have to be very careful. Because just the damage of this boss. We're just gonna shield back that. Play a little safe. Come on. Awesome. Killed. Ooh. But yeah, that I feel like this boss is the perfect bullet hell because it's there's a lot of bullets, but you could see everything going on. You could actually s remain in control of the situation in a way other bullet hills aren't designed. Iron and Kadir's pupils dilating always look so painful. I mean, to be fair, Iron hasn't slept for like 200 days, so it makes sense that his pupils are dilated all the time. Kadir, though, yeah, that's probably painful. Would you look at that? With a run that went so far south at the beginning that I was worried it was going to go 50 minutes and like I was going to fight over that, we went 44-18. And that's with mistakes. That's with the sun power being a painful bug or all that sort of stuff. So it's a bullet hell fight with the ability to organize attacks within it makes it nicer. Yep. Basically. Because the game... Because the game doesn't expect you to have the ability to fly... Instead of the bullet hell being, um, like, finding the exact little pixel where it's safe, it's about, um, knowing when and when you can when you can and cannot touch the ground, and taking your leverage there where you, where you can get it. Yeah, so, I, I think it's like, I think the air red fight is like a perfect balance of bullet hell. So, I really enjoy it. But I've, I can see how other people wouldn't, and if it's any more bullet hell than that, I could definitely see myself not liking it. Uh, but, 
It's a fun fight. I do enjoy it. And we got a good run. We got a good run. We, I mean, if you think about it, we got all the equipment we wanted. Um, the only thing we're lacking is the Warden Weapon. And the Warden Weapon is really hard to equip because of its equip weight. So, yeah. That was a good run. Imagine not sleeping for days because of insomnia and then finally being able to sleep. Yeah, that's... So in case you're wondering, the lore is that that's what happened with Irad. Like, oh my gosh, just... What was it? He was like 200 days or something like that? Like, yeah, it's one of those things of like, the cry of joy where it's just getting back to normal is a beauty in and of itself. Uh, anyways, that's this run. That is this run. So let's get to the next run, everyone. Mm. The bullet hell fight in Hollow Knight. Oh yeah, you do. You all right? And there's an old message that you brought up. I did a speed run for the game Hollow Knight, and you need to do three boss fights in the run, but no upgrades, making them stupidly difficult. Yes, yeah, so I know this. Mo Moment. Um. Okay. So this in Hollow Knight, you need to fight the False Knight. No wait, you can escape. You can escape the False Knight. So you need to fight Hornet. You need to fight um Mom Moment. You need to fight the Watcher Knights. The Watcher Knights have to be hell. The Watcher Knights have to be abject hell. And you need to fight the final boss. So I think, yeah, that's four. And Hornet is someone that you don't have any upgrades to begin with, so it's not really that much. Yep. Um, the Bullet Hell fight in Hollow Knight has two cre- Oh. I know what you're talking about. The Obble Obble. Obble Obble is the Bullet Hell fight of Hollow Knight. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things, that um, in IRAD, those blue projectiles are not random at all. I know exactly where they are going, where every shot is going, and while it's random when they shoot it out, and therefore they could get, like, really bad time frames of, like, all three of them shooting at, like, disjointed time frames, um, well, that could happen. I know exactly where each bullet is going to be shot, and that is very important for being able to dodge. Also, has I read always been like that, or did he have a human form? That is a darn good question. That is such a good question, I do not have it. So I know Enoch was always a mimic. Which actually brings in the account. You don't have to be an estuary. You don't have to be a human to be an estuary. That's worth noting. You don't have to be a human to be an estuary. And by the name Dragon the Vow, and by the notes in Irad, I'm thinking the dragon is somewhere downstairs. Maybe that's the mini boss you have to fight to get to Tubal. But yeah, I don't think Irad had a human form, because we don't have any pictures of Irad, other than the pictures of the eyeball. And, um... And yeah, there's nothing saying you have to be a human. Enoch doesn't have a human form, but he emphasizes the human figure even though he lacks the form itself. All right, with that, I'm gonna start another one. Three, two, one, go. All right. Deep breaths, get everything through. All right, and this is the second run, so we're gonna try out the different strat where we kill ourselves. Funny question of the day. Look, man. I know my... I know what needs to be done. If this was a... Um... I didn't like any of these characters. Just in case you were wondering. This one at least gives me a gold boost. Aerodynamic is the worst trait, in case anyone's wondering. Like, at least in my mind. It just messes up with your kicks. And you need to rely on your kicks a lot of the time. So Chronic Fatigue Syndrome definitely sucks. For, um, as a speedrunner, it sucks worse because I kind of have to like leverage my cooldowns whenever possible. But I think it's fair at 25 for the average gamer. For the average game. Let's make sure there's actually a path. Oof. Oof. 
Good muscle fibers really putting in work today. This castle. Ooh. Hey. Alright. Gonna go for now. Good run though. Yeah, thank you very much, strong young chip creations. Glad to have you here, by the way. Alright. Missed quite a few comments, I think. I'll have to read those comments when I find a good spot to stop. But, and now we're in the run. Alright, I have to go all the way around because I don't have a fireball. No, I didn't kill. Darn. I wonder if there's any skips I could do just from having in muscle fibers. Probably is something. I just can't think of it right now. That's basically a skip. Alright. The only fights you do in Hollow Knight spawn are Hornet, Watcher Knights, and the Hollow Knight. Veg Flag is optional. I'm pretty sure you do Moment as well, don't you? Because that's one of the ones guarding a Watcher. Alright. So, uh... Oh, I was like, if that's the exit to the right, how do we get to, um, how do we get to the Stiggy Etsy? But I realized, this is the Stiggy Etsy. Sometimes you get entrances like this. Oh, God. This is a mistake that I'm doing, but I'm having fun doing it, so I'm doing it. Alright, mistake over. Time to get back to the job. Hey! And the mech's right here to deal with it. Ah. Alright, found everything I need to. Seems like the mech, Mehuel, and Namar are the only human in a series, unless Tubal is a human too. So, as far as we know, like. Lamech well, could be an undead the entirety of his, like, could have been a skeleton when he, nah, nah, nah. He, yeah, he's probably a, hu he's probably a human, um, Nama could be a druid or a dryad or whatever it's called, that, that is, like, in character for her to be, um, we know nothing about Manuel other than he, you know, he was an estuary and a, and a sailor. Like, we could assume by his crewmates that Mehuel was more humanoid. Yeah, we could assume humanoid in the majority of them, but technically we can't um, guarantee human in any of them. And they're not human by the time we fight them. No sorry. Nama. Nama could actually be alive. Nama could be alive and uncorrupted. I remember talking about that. That Nama could, like, just. Like, if any of them could talk to us, it's Nama. Like, we have no reason to believe she died. She killed off the others, and she feels guilt and, like, a lot of shame in all of those other things, and that's why she locked herself in where she is. But. Nama could be alive until the day we bring the Asteria in. Um, Lamech is, you know, a husk of his former self. Enoch and um, Enoch is po was poisoned by his the poison he created. Um, Irad was the target of Enoch's poison and therefore poisoned. This is actually unnecessary. I could have just gone on the inside because I have d this jump. So, despite making that mistake, I'm still alright. Uh. Alright. 
Ooh. So yeah, I guess really Lamech is the only one who's like really half dead. All the others are poisoned. I'm gonna consider the poison people dead. Because it was poisoned by Stygian roots, so they're basically void beasts, just with enough just enough sanity to not consider void beasts. Ooh. Lamech is obviously dead because he has a sword stuck in his back. Lamech actually, if you read the lore um, after you beat Lamech Prime, Lamech actually survived the invasion. Lamech actually won the battle in the invasion. Um, also, he doesn't have a sword in his back. Maybe. So either the sword was stabbed in his back after um, the invasion, and that killed him. Or he was just a skeleton in the first place. Like, it is very much... Like, given Namaz a druid, Enoch's a mimic, like, it's entirely possible that Irad was just always a skeleton. Unlikely. But very much possible. Because even skeletons were alive for once. I just gonna shield bash that, but then I'm like, wait, everything's thought it's a long cooldown, and shield already has a very long cooldown. So. We have a little damage, but we can manage. Oop. Uh, but that's kind of funny that we can't assume because he has a sword stuck in his back that he's dead. Which, in any other game, I'm sure that's a pretty decent assumption. For the list, bud. Here's the route. Taking more damage than I want. I do believe I can beat the boss without getting hit, and then I have one damage of leeway, which I'm going to accept as enough. Almost. And we now have enough gold to buy the architect, even if we die to the boss somehow. I feel like at this point, um, it's our fault for dying to the boss. Not a show, like, it's not in the boss's control, it's in my control. Whether I die to it. Which is confidence, which is a slow and insidious kill killer I've heard. So, yeah, I will basically never be able to spend all my mana because of the Chronic Fatigue Syndrome adding this time frame to it. Together. Good Scalabros. Alright, now you jump after him. You're supposed to jump. There you go. Alright, a little delayed. I'll accept it.
There we go. We got money and the jumps and hops. Go. 4,571 gold. That is enough for the first life. Obviously, we're not... Oh, hey, hey, how's it going, Paranoid Fiends? Glad to have you here. Yeah, we're just playing the run. That's the second boss, so... Obviously, we're level 2 to make up for it. <laughs> but yeah, how's it going, Jairus Paranoid? Glad to have you here. Um, I hope you're okay with spoilers, because uh, I'm beating this game today, in the next hour. Fortunately, hopefully, like, the next 10, 20 minutes. But... Yeah. Just thought I should warn you. Alright. Uh, just focus real fast, because we're kind of exploring. Want to get ready for whatever rooms pop up. You. Ah. Alright. Alright. Use that to reset. Awesome. Use that reset. Get through. Get through. Get out, get out. <laughs> Alright, so we still need to find at least one more Lily. Plus, of course, Nama and the jump. Alright, we keep going right. So yeah, in case you're wondering, there's a heirloom that is always spawns way off to the right of this area. So I'm heading for that. There we are. Found it. Awesome. So in case you're wondering to find this, there is a puzzle that you have to solve, but we know all the puzzles. But a long day, I'm only here for a bit on break at work. And yeah, I don't plan on oil 2 anytime soon. Alright. Let's see if this skip works. It could. There we are. Thank you, Ed Muscle Fibers. Put in work. And yeah, I don't plan on oil 2 anytime soon. Alright. That's a mistake, but I'll accept it. <laughs> Alright. That was a uh, flaw on my part. Alright. Try to reduce the damage and reduce the mana spend, Witcher. There we go. Oof. Not the easiest. I think there was a path to the right, I just didn't actually go through it. This is impressive, yes. This is what I do. I spend a lot of hours on this game. Hundreds. Um, I think we're at 400 hours now? We're at a high number of hours, so yeah, it's- if it wasn't impressive, I'd have other issues, honestly. And like that, the insights are, um, unlike the rest of it, unrandom. Like, I know what I'm getting into in each room. I know the next room after the next, you know? Free chest, let's just grab it. Hey, did we get good equipment? Ammonite weapon, hey! That's actually, and we have enough gold that I could actually properly purchase it. Ammonite weapon is not the best, since Ammonite's um, set is built around um, being defensive, and yeah, I don't really care about armor, but nonetheless. Alright, so let me find a lily. Still need to find them all. Alright, found them all. So now we just need to find some lilies. Alright, so we have those two paths to the left. We'll just head for this one now, and if things go south, we'll return to main menu and teleport to the entrance, basically. Alright, wait for you to get out of my way. Alright, warg no warg no chasey. Alright. We got a dead end, so we head right back around. We, so we do want to open that door. We do want to grab the two lilies and open Nama's room before we leave that area. 
but we, that doesn't mean we want to fight them out as yet. Um, so generally speaking, we, we have enough gold to get some good level ups, and we only level up when we die, so we want to get killed before we go start doing boss fights. It's also nice that, like, we have very lenient hitboxes in this game. Alright. Whew. Cloth of Spindle. Yes, let's take it. We're too far away from any teleports. Alright. None of the lilies can be there. Because all lilies are a certain shape of room. I just realized, I know where one of the lilies are already. Since we've explored so much of it, the last lily has to be, like, right here, or so. There we are. Two lilies. So you only, there are three lilies in the world, you only need two. And so we got the two. So now, I'm instead of backtracking all the way around, I'm just going to use this return to main menu trick. Teleport to the throne room. And with the door open, we can now go to the Stygian study. So yeah, again, we want to wait till we die and get damage boosts before we fight Nama. Unless, of course, we are in a run that's going to go one life, because it can. Oh, right, I actually explored this area because of that little secret air entrance. Ooh, early murmur. Always appreciated early murmur. Because murmur is one of the rooms you have to find. And there's no real cue for where it's going to be. So, Early Murmur is a very nice room to run into. Neither work. Okay, Catalyst can work, but I'm not going to go through killing 10 enemies to trigger the Catalyst. Or, sorry, the Pandora's Bargain. Ooh. Wow, Enoch as well. So I just need to find the new heirloom and Gone Heads. And then we're good. So Gone Heads. Uh, so Gone Heads is usually all the way to the left, but we already explored everything to the left. It's a huge room, so there's not enough space in those other areas. Grab Grave Bell just for a safety precaution, I think. All right. Gotta slide back to alert. Keep it fast, bad. I always do. Always do. Hey, found the heirloom. Awesome. Let's play on Bio RL2 once it hits consoles. Yeah. So it is going to, um, they have to finish early access in PC before they can put it onto consoles. So it will be a bit of a wait, but it's going to be awesome, man. It's going to be awesome. Oh. I have high jump. I could pull off the skip. Can I pull off this skip? Yes! Oh my gosh, that saves so much. That saves me, like, going through that pipe section. That's such a good skip. Alright. We need that. Thank you for not falling in the water, meat. Oh. Alright, that's all our meats. So, we're at full health. No more making mistakes in this heirloom. Because I'd like to come out of this heirloom at full health. So yeah, we're just heading way up and then way to the left. Because that's our actual likely area to find gong heads. Which is a little unfortunate. But also, you just go for your outs, you know? So we can now face Murmur whenever we want. You know, I think after I find Gone Heads, I might, yeah, you know what? After I find Gone Heads, let's go to the Sun Tower. This character has Im Muscle Fibers. I was able to find a Grave Bell. Like, this is a character we want exploring the Sun Tower and getting to the top. This is a character that can pull it off. This is a character that doesn't want to fight. Because we'll find stronger fires later. We'll fight once all of this is done. 
Once exploring is once the world is known. Then we'll fight for it. Boxing gloves? And not explosive long can with gauntlets, just boxing gloves. I was like, I'll be careful in case I get thrown into an enemy. And I'm like, oh, no enemies here. Just in time for me to waltz into an enemy. As you see, I am nearly another hit like that, and I'm at like six health. So dangerous world. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not it. I thought that was actually it, and I was like, so ecstatic. I got close. I got surprisingly close. Alright. I'm gonna grab Blaze Bellow of the options. Yeah, that was a bad death. Oh well. We have Blaze Bellow. We have gold. We don't have the tower completed, but we got high up there. That feels good in its own way. Oh, and we still have book to grab, so we'll make sure to get ourselves four strength along the way. Yeah, we have enough gold. We're just gonna buy the four strength. I just realized buying that means the one item that I just realized we got that was good was the Ammonite weapon. And I can't buy the Ammonite weapon anymore. Failure on my part. Plus five strength lost. Oh well. Let's get our fights, let's get our money, let's get all of our resources, you know? Alright. So we have, like, four fights plus power, so... Let's just start with the Maw and work our way through. And yeah, so because of Histronic, these damage numbers are actually wide, so don't just pay attention to the health bar, not the numbers that spouts out. on my part, but we took pretty minimal damage, um, so I deal less damage than the mod herself, so... We don't have the Peak Syndrome, so we can actually spend that resource without worrying too much. Ooh, accidentally ate my jump, though. Oh, right, they changed that, so I can't. Thank goodness for those iframes, because, yes, that fireball just face planted me. Went directly in my face.
That's one gone. Really? Still, once again, disappointed that I could not make it to the top with that last life. Because it was close. It got close. Because if I got that through, this character would be in an even stronger position than they already are. But the problem is, with the Sun Tower, there's only two teleports. One at the very top, and one at the very bottom. We have the one at the bottom, and didn't matter how close we made it to the top, we don't get the one at the top until we get it. Ooh, true Enoch, you, but you fight him in the Maz arena and he immediately runs into the spikes. <laughs> How's it going, Flying Ray D? How's it going? That'd be a fun twist. I'm sure it wouldn't be... I'm sure it'd be a completely balanced fight with no issues whatsoever. Despite... Despite literally naming the issue, I'm sure it'll be a completely balanced fight with no issues whatsoever. Ah. Okay, could you stop? Thank you. I appreciate it. Right as I asked him to stop. Just gotta ask sometimes. People are understanding. My mom found cookies at her work that are apparently normally $10, but they were opened already. So, they're pretty good, but not worth $10. Yeah, sounds about right. What treat is worth $10 other than, like, pizza? Alright, so this is needlessly dangerous right here. To the point where this is actively a mistake, I just did not... I've already made it, so let's just keep go with it. Is this guy a hypochondriac? No, no, no. If they were a hypochondriac, you know because... Oh, hypercoagulation. It, I think you're talking about the trait hypercoagulation, which um, you would know by the fact that they're always at full health. Uh, this one, as you can see, is at 92 out of 250. I have to go to bed because I need to wake up early tomorrow? Get your rest, man. Get your rest. Hope for the best with what you have to wake up for, man. Thank you for stopping by. Have a wonderful day, Joel. Oh. I think that's... Oh, is that hypochondriac that that's called? Yeah, it's... he has the exaggerated number straight. I think it's histronic, not hypochondriac. Hypochondriac is like... Um, in real life, hypochondriac has something to do with, like, blood not clotting or something of that nature. So, like, every cut is, like, sucks. But, yeah. Yeah, histronic, not hypochondriac. strength so we can actually do that so the reason you could only do that with a lot of strength is if you don't one shot them um, that shot hits you of course 
That was a little dangerous, but it's okay. I can take one hit anyways. Hypochondriac means you worry about getting sick all the time. Okay. I have... I think I have something else then. My apologies for... I just don't know. I think it... I still think that the trait's called Hispanic, but... Yeah, I don't... I could be very much wrong. My apologies if I got that wrong stuff. I just don't know. Alright. So hypochondriac means you get... So, Oh, hypercoagulation? Yeah. You still lose AP if you block. Um, I think it's considered a bug and has been reported in bug reports, but it was not fixed with the beta branch, so. Timed it, but I did it, got close enough to the correct time that didn't matter. This is the iframes. There we are. And pop. Alright. This is still the beta patch, right? Correct. I'm still in the beta patch. Alright. Out of water. What did I need to do? Keep moving. Alright, now we have this nightmare dungeon. I got that one one hit. Now. So, that's what I gotta deal with. Alright, 
they don't matter. Or even less than I thought. These don't matter. Ooh. This is where the climb happened. At the top of the climb is where things started going very south. All right, I'm gonna head left here. See what before me. Nope, have to go up. Have to go through this. Oh no. So, that poison wall basically made it so I couldn't go up, and I just had to wait for that slime to leave, and then that slime did its attack there, and I was just like, well, sucks to be me. Alright, we're using the Barbarian just to climb. Just to climb. I right, once again, I'm going to pick up the Duelist in case I get the um, things I need, but once again... <laughs> I missed out on the ammonite weapon because I was just purchasing. Alright, whatever. No ammonite weapon for us this time. I can accept that. I can accept that. Whew. The duelist I do, I can handle with Irad. Because, yeah, the ability to just do stuff like that helps. Well, we got here without taking damage yet. And they're going the other direction, which is perfect. So now I can do that. And there we are. Tops within view. No going inside necessary. That damage was unfortunate. Oh well. Ground weapon. We're just gonna stop picking up items. Let's just go kill the boss. Alright. We survived two hits. If we didn't take that damage, we'd survive three. We'd survive. Yeah, we survived one hit. If we didn't take that damage, we'd survive two. There we are. That's the crazy. Thing.
mistakes allowed. Open the way. Panic attacks? Hmm. I'll go with the duelist again, but the panic attacks definitely scare me as a concern. But believe it or not, the duelist has more health than the Valkyrie, which means the surviving two hits is something that the duelist can do that the Valkyrie cannot. Alright. They really... So magic is viable, it's just not easy to use. I think, like, I've been making magic-based characters, and magic is very much viable, it's just, like, they're not easy. Yeah, it wasn't good, it wasn't viable in Rogue Legacy 1. You had, like, you could not do a magic build in Rogue Legacy 1. Rogue Legacy 2, yes you can. I actually think magic is stronger, it's just, like, it's so hard to use that, um, they... Had to make it stronger for people to consider it, is my explanation. My explanation as to why it's fair that magic is so clearly stronger in my mind. good to be honest because it would all right also magic is more dent more random because you could get a ram trash bell that doesn't matter that doesn't matter how much intelligence you have that is a good, fair point things like free strike do not care about your magic and make it better for strength builds i will not deny that um that boss is an eyesore mm. that's just how you see it uh the pawns 
all the puns. Ah, uh, that's good. That's good, guys. All right, well, Sir Truman did some good job. Fantastic job, Sir Truman. Fantastic job. <laughs> Just all the puns, but they're all going over each other's heads. Oh, well. Thank you very much, Sir Truman. You did your job. I'm happy to have you here. All right. And with that, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm way behind, but I just DM'd today. I should be more attuned to this stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, now, after you DM, you kind of get mentally exhausted for a bit. I bet. I bet. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to refill my water. And when we get back, I'm going to be switching over to Shovel Knight again. This time, we're going to get through the story of Spectre Knight and see how that fares. So, if you guys are just here for the speedruns, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you're here, if you plan to stay around, well, I'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching. So Tadpole, I asked two of my DM friends about how rock candy would breed, so this came up in our last D&D game. And they came up with a cellu cellular way, a, but revealed a sad truth. If rock candy breeds, they are destined to be smaller and smaller. Hmm. 
unfortunate. Fortunately, we have other ways of making rock candy than through breeding. So we have solutions. We have science. We have strategies. Alright. And we have magic. Yep. Alright. Let me go switch things up. This is... Spectre Knight first playthrough. And this is no longer a speedrun, this is now a first playthrough. Alright, take it care of. Oh, oh, no board has no need to be here. And with that, we have this. Alright. This was before my session today. Alright, I'll keep that in mind, I'll keep that in mind. We also have magic. We also have magic. Alright. Hey everyone, welcome back to more Shovel Knight Treasure Show. This time, so last time, we finished up Shovel Knight, and then we finished up Plague Knight. So now, let's do Spectre Knight. Shovel of Hope, taken care of. Plague of Shadows, taken care of. Spectre of Torment. Slice and Dice, through the tragic prequel. Alright, so this is takes place prior to the story. Good to know. Good to know. As always, my name is Tadpole. And we get going. If you got Keen Eye at a game for some reason, yes, well, we'll be doing that last, so. Looks like their charge rate is similar to their spells. So, yeah, I do like the spells charging up in time instead of through a resource, so. Oh, and they start with the invincibility locket. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Long ago, the lands were untamed, and roamed by legendary adventurers. Oh, this is before they perished, right? They died in the game. But although the land is peaceful, for some, freedom is a far-gone memory. It's probably my favorite of the knights game-wise. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. Spectre Knight, servant to the Enchantress, has been given a harrowing task. Alright, so he's always been a servant to the Enchantress. Is that the case? He must recruit a group of knights and form an invincible order. <clears throat> Maybe this is immediately after the resurrection. Hmm. With each member gathered, the treasure keeps a grows in power. An artifact that can restore his humanity, but only when his task is complete. Now, he leaves the confines of the Tower of Fate. It is time for the Reaper to pursue his quarry. So his entire story is trying to get back his humanity, which... There's a thousand reasons why he will want to come back to life. Darkness is the name of your spell pool. Dash and slash. No gear. Keepsake locket. Okay, so stirs memories of the past and is a constant reminder of your future. Dark garment. All right. Ooh. So, so. Oh, oh. I think I just messed up the up. The, yeah, I can take care of that real quick. My apologies. Take it care of. All right. I was gonna say. So everyone digs up a uh, treasure. And, like, the Shovel Knight seems to be, like, the slowest at it. Oh my gosh, I made it so I can't see the... Alright. Well. Oh. My apologies for all this... All these delays, everyone. So, you could now run up walls. Oh, but only dirt walls, it seems. Alright. 
Awesome. That's how... Alright. It's only dirt, so you can't really worry about this side. So... Gotta keep bouncing off back and forth, it seems. Just give you a sense of how everything works. Alright. Alright, so if you get to the top, it does that cool spam. Cool. Just get used to the controls. And the controls are pretty solid. Oh, whoa! That was not what I was expected. Is that a secret entrance? Nope. Whew. Gotta make sure everything I don't fall to my death randomly. Alright. Oh what are these? So I know that it said there was a hundred. Oh, you just jump and breaks the ground. And so if you're in the air, you have a different kind of attack. Interesting. Like I... Yep, right there. Okay, first off, make sure there's nothing there. Okay. Got it. Sick. Alright, I now know how it all works out. Oop. So yeah, definitely much more mobile. Oh, so I could, like, kick those guys off and launch off of them. I can walk up this wall. It's literally just the... Well, that wasn't much of a fight. Glad to know. Oh... So I could probably... Ah. Guess not. I thought I could, um... Like, use them as a launching platform. But made a little mis... Not sure if I made a mistake or if it's just not to be in the wheels. In the wheelhouse. Ooh. Ooh. back for it, but oh well, I lost the red. Like, it's not even that big of a thing to lose. Ah, that is quite scrumptious looking food there for you, Specterdite. I'm not surprised as you're undead currently, but truly scrumptious. Mmm. Alright, well, looks like I can't go low enough to collect some of that. Yeah, I'm just going to assume I can't go low enough to grab that one. Unfortunate. But the truth. Go. Ooh, it does seem like the, your attack rate, like your jump height, is definitely reduced compared to Shovel Knight and even Plague Knight, but like what you get in return is more than strong enough with this mobility.
Whew. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Much smaller area than I expected. I just like he sets down his little scythe to collect properly. And every kill seems to give me darkness, which is a cool mechanic for how it restores. So the last, like, Plague Bite Knight does restores with time. Shovel Knight needs to find items. Willful Wisp pronounces your prolongs your undeath by increasing max will. Ooh! Hey! Max health increase. Nice. Ooh! Just gotta keep moving. one off of a fight. Cool. Care of... Oop. Took a little damage, but didn't fall to our death. And that's the important part. money. I also lost a lot of money, but we're going to ignore that for now. Hopefully it comes back, so yep. Alright. Definitely like the mobility. Yeah, whenever you play a platformer, your mobility options always define the platformer itself. Like, there's a reason that original Mario was called Jumpman, because that movement option is what defines them. Alright. This is where he tries to recruit the Black Knight, who will never recruit him. Halt! Those foul lads are no place for commoners. Turn back, whoever you are. Fool, I've come here for you. You will kneel before me, bow before the Enchantress, and join her order. Your cutting words are no match for my cutting blows. I'll teach you a lesson of humility. Oh. Come, Terrapin, my shielded steed. My shelled steed. This is a new... I guess Black Knight just would have been too easy without it. Yeah, Black Knight definitely would have been too easy without this shelled steed. Woo! Definitely would have been too easy without that shelled steed. Nice music. That finds hell. Could it be? Donovan? But you were claimed by the tower. The tower grows in power each moment. The Enchantress has plans for you, and will grant you what you desire. I won't be led astray. You standing before me means there's hope for the one I seek. I'm glad you are safe, Donovan, but keep your distance. The Donovan I knew would surely know better than to pursue me further. Well, he didn't know. Apparently, Black Knight's a scary bad. He did survive three fights with Shovel Knight. After all. It's a Donovan. Eh? So you've returned. I assume Black Knight has joined our ranks? Neither words nor scythe had any effect. The fool persists in some fruitless quest. 
Indeed. It seems I am dealing only with fools here. Was I a fool to trust you? Tarry here no longer, and for your sake, pray that the others are less obstinate. Bring the knights immediately. My beloved, my betrothed! Oh, my heart breaks, for her red skull lies misplaced. Oh, to see your crimson face once more. If you should happen upon a red skull, even a hundred of them, then I beg you, please bring them all to me. In a past life, I hunted curios. If I trade them all away just to see my love again, surely these would interest you. Alright. Alright, so you trade the. This is your money against for curios, okay. Close range strike? Clutch this school to regain will. Yeah, I think we just start with gaining health back. Ah! <coughs> this curio is well guarded. While I can lead you there, you'll have to battle your way out. Ah. So you have to fight for your curios. Oh, they teach you how to use them. It would seem that a curse has been placed here. I'm afraid your scythe will be of no use. Why is that, you ask? Sorry, but that's an ancient skeleton secret. We'll regroup ahead. Tread carefully. Ah. Press C. Clutch the school to regain will. Oh. Oh, those um, things regain give me darkness. That's what it is. Excellent. Away we go. So those candles regain darkness. That's what they are. The curio is no mere bobble. Use it wisely. I'm going to check if anything else has skulls to sell. These creatures are gathering around a vessel marked with a cloak. Perhaps I'll make an offering. Offer Andrew Gold? Sure. The vessel can hold far more than this pittance, but it's a start. Oh, hey, Specty. Welcome back. If you ever miss any wisp chests, I could summon their contents here. But, you know, supplies. I need gold. It isn't cheap to summon a wisp, whether it's for will or darkness. I've got nothing to sell you. You're so meticulous, Specty. But me, I can still help. Let's see. Darkness wisps are Clockwork Tower, Exploratorium, and the Lich Yard. Alright, so this is where all our, um... So this is where all our upgrades are. All right. Any other new place and you'll find a willful wisp. All right, good to know. Well, I thought. All right. If you follow battle, oh, so. Some of your gold will spill out flying bags. Make sure to retrieve them. So this is all just all the bosses, or enemies. You can't control the direction of the dash slash. It's based on whether you're above or below your enemy. Go ahead and check if there's anything worth buying on all that. Ooh. Hail, Lord Spectre! Knight! Glory to the Enchantress! She has entrusted me to operate this dark portal. Cross through it, and you'll reach your target in a mere moment. Shall I prepare the magic mirror for you? Your departure, my lord. Not now. Alright, so this is our way out. That's good now. Alright, just get used to the area. Oh, it's you! I saw a slice eat a dicey through the plates earlier. Wow, rounded juice on me. Hey. Just draft you here. It's still a carry on. Just a joke, you know. A scavenging for customers. Oh. Sure. Oh. I talked to them. Okay. So they need customers. I can't believe it. I get to serve the Enchantress. I'm getting fired up just thinking about it. Maybe I should come up with a new special move. Something to set out from all those boring Goldamores and Pride more. Oh, I gave it to the puppy. I gave me gold for it. I even... That's awesome.
I need like a lighter strike to trigger that, I'm assuming. These creatures are gathered around with a smork with curios. Perhaps I'll make an offering. Sure. Alright. So this guy holds up a vessel of curios. The other one held up a vessel with what marking? With a cloak. Oh, so this is how you get um, new equipment, and the other one is how you get new curios, is my guess. My heart grows cold. I've located new curios. I have, have yet. But have you found any red schools? All right, throwing sickle, or unleash a powerful close range strike. I think I'm gonna go with throwing sickle. Oh, this curio is well guarded. What well, could lead you to there? You'll have to battle your way out. So it's just teaching you all these different curios. This area is cursed as well. Tread carefully. All right. Launch a boomeranging blade. Wait for the shot. Alright. Excellent! Away we go! Alright, so there's my red schools. So I have healing, and I have scythe. Alright. Maybe they could get new cloak and new equipment, depending on how I want to spend my gold. I'm gonna offer more gold here for a bit. The vessel's nearly full. We'll see where this leads. Alright, let's fill it up. State your business, Abomination. Who are you? We are many. <laughs> We like your gold. We like your cloak. Touch it. New powers. Yes. We cloak you in darkness. Alright, so this is how we get access to the cloaks already. Alright. Lose will in darkness instead of perishing in pits and spikes. Like that. Drop less gold when you fall in battle. Okay, well, looks like I are going to be using a cloak of clemency. Advanced cloak. Hold down one lane to grind quickly along surfaces at spikes as if they were rails. Oh, so this allows you to just, like, move quickly. Hold X to charge, then release a superior scythe swing. Alright, so this is super strike. Break checkpoints to lower your max will, uh, but boost attack and regenerate darkness until you fall in battle. So this is this is probably the actual speedrunner cloak. And ghostly garb, look more imposing and fearsome than ever before, but to no effect. Well, if it wasn't for the ghostly garb, I think I would go with Cloak of Clemency. Which I might still go with Cloak of Clemency. I can't afford it yet, but I am really glad he got it. Alright. Let's give this guy some curios. We be legion. Curios, gold, pay thee up. Powerful we make. All right. So, oh, you could upgrade. So it passes through obstacles that recovers gold. That could be useful. And yields even more will. All right. I like these upgrades. I like the idea of upgrades. All right. Well, let's head off to our next battle. All right. Oh, so it's just the areas. And you can go anywhere. Huh. I've heard tell of a phantom who haunts the Lich Yard. You're brave to tread there. Be wary. Tinker Knight is the finest engineer in the land. I will... Will he agree to build your tools of destruction? Key Knight looks over Pridemore from his castle, but his, uh... Renovations do appear to have stalled. A frozen wasteland, a ruined ship, twisted scaffolding, and Polar Knight. The very idea gives me chills. Can the Mad Alchemist Plague Knight be bent to our cause? His potions would be a boon if he could be tamed. Enough, fellow Mole Knight. With this excavation skill, we could dig out great vaults and undermine our foes. 
Who's a wealthier fa who's who's wealthier fancier than Treasure Knight? With his sunken riches, the tides will turn indeed. I've always dreamt of boarding the flying machine. The galas, the nightlife, the air, superiority. Alright. So each of them have ten schools. Oh, each of them cost money to enter. Okay. So I actually can't um I actually have to go to one of either Plague Knight, Polar Knight, or Keen Knight. Interesting, Polar Knight's just a boss just a regular boss here. Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna just hold up. I'm gonna... St I do like how that goes. But for now, I'm gonna pause and let this be where we end the episode for today. I'll think about which one I want to face first. Anyone? Please? Everyone? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I do appreciate. Spectre Knight seems a lot more... It's very distinct compared to the other two. I heard that they changed some themes. Kind of sucks that there's no world map, but I think it's... That's a very interesting way to do this. Anyways, have a wonderful day. Alright. Give me some water. Mmm. Take a deep breath and get myself ready for the next one. Hey everyone, welcome back to... I'm going to restart that. Hey everyone, welcome back to Spectre Knight. I think we have decided that our next area is going to be Polar Knight. Because while Keen Knight and Plague Knight are always the next area, area Polar Knight is a new one. So we're going to try that one out. So how Polar Knight feels. Oh, that's cool. Just flashes there. Darkness. So I know this used to be... Alright. Oof. Alright, so this is where the rails come in. I remember seeing these, like, rail around, but... So I guess this is the rails mechanic. Oh, it's only one way you can hurt it. Ah, uh, makes sense. It's just really quick. Gain a little strength. There's a lot of railing in this one. Whew. Still cool. Get them before they disappear. I just realized that if there is something up there, I could get through that, so that's what I was waiting for, trying to see if something up there, but made a fool of myself. Oh no. I just now saw the exit I was supposed to enter using that theme. I can't even get up. I almost feel like I should die to reset that creature. It sounds like a bad idea, but I think it's actually the correct move, because it's just... If I can't get up there... Yeah, so... Like... This is designed for you to be using this, so I'm actually going to kill myself here, specifically so that that money could fall, where it's somewhere I could collect, and then I could actually use that spike guy. Oh. So, as I was dying, I looked over to my left. The guy just respawns if you give it enough space. The guy just respawns if you give it enough space. Right, well, I dealt with the issue. Though, 
in a foolish manner. Alright, just wait here. Ah. Get that red school. shot at the angle. There we are. Awesome. Dealt with the issue. Though, definitely get the close. Yeah, it feels like... Alright, so these are... I feel like they're gonna just keep breaking. Yeah, so if I fall into them, they just break instantly. That's what that mechanic is, what those mechanics are. I was wondering, because I can't break them from below, so I had to change how that mechanic worked. there, so... Let's get this checkpoint first. Alright. Whew. Alright. Just, like, getting used to everything. how they changed the mechanics for this area. Hmm. There we go, and we get more soul. Oh, that's just if you get stuck on that on this side. Makes sense. Don't know how you get there. Maybe with an item, you can throw it out there? Yep, yeah, that's probably how you get there. Stuck there. Ah. Come on. Whoops. Oh, well. And yeah, I have to kill these for darkness to recover, so I actually can't recover my deck. Oh, you can't even switch. Oh, uh, just showing all the themes that I can switch with it. There we are. Just figure it out little by little. All right. Dude, yeah, like, from what I'm hearing, like, the armors actually sound really cool. Like, if the armors, like, one of them allows you to just treat every, all surfaces like this, like, all grounded surfaces, that's, yeah, no, Spectre Knight's gonna be a lot of fun if I use it all properly. But, yeah.
We'll just use that real quick, because that's probably end up. Alright, didn't get as much dark as I expected, but that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Got get to the other side. Alright. Keep things moving. Ah, uh, yes, this mechanic. Again, through. Here it is by force. Alright. Mispositioning there. My fault. But we are close. We're close to the end, and we got some good gold. Alright. Oh, that was terrifying. So, I sh I was thinking of if I could jump to the left, but then I realized afterwards I could just go right and back up on that platform. And so I switched decisions midway through making the said decision. That was honestly used just to freeze me, like, where I was standing, and it worked wonders. Though it did cost me darkness. One there, and we're going to come back to this platform to the right instead of. There we are. Got my skull that I wanted. All right, so we got the skull. We got our well. So, a single square of... Seems that a single square of spikes does not kill you, because that's my only explanation to how I just did it die right there. Which I appreciate. Alright. Get things figured out because I did that damage and then I just stopped attacking. And climbed up the wall. Alright, whatever. That's okay. Ooh. Figured it all out. Alright, how do I get back? That's how. Okay, cool. Figured things out. Oh, new enemies. Cool. Oh, is that the... We actually head down. Okay. Always weird of the... Looking like bomb on pits effect. Even though I missed, I still... That's cool. No! Alright, is that how? Like... Oof. Oof! Figured it out. Cool. Alright, we have that, and then we just come back here for that school. Awesome. Super cool. Super cool. 
Hmm. Miss that diamond, though. But I'm okay with that. Your reputation precedes you, Polar Knight. The glory of battle awaits you in the Enchantress's new order. Not much for words. Is there nothing you desire? Your master is willing to make it worth your time. Hmm. Oh wow, this is a much bigger stage. Yeah, I'm like, okay, spikes are a little big. Don't know how I get. Alright, how do I. <sighs> well, at least I put it way over to the left. But it was just like, you know, I probably should have paid attention to their health. I probably could have just killed them just by rushing them down. Alright. Well, we have our money all right in front of us. Those little spikes always get me. Always get me. Oh well. Guess what? Spectre Knight actually has a solution to that. If I can just get a little more money. Which I actually have the money, so if I could finish this. him to actually start breaking these. Oof. Go. Taken care of. Has nice little sight swings. Technically I have enough for the golden one, but... Not really the issue. Alright. So he just waits here. Looking out to the distance. Looking for that. Which is why he wishes to become real once more. Alright. Hmm. Oi, I'm the edge farmer. Oi, um, you think you're edgy? You do? Oi? Oh, I'll be the judge of that way. Wanna be cool like me? When leaving from rail, try pressing up or down to pull off some slick stunts. More secrets. Ah, uh, welcome. If you visit the Endless Parapet, or for the brave, I offer a brief diversion of my own design. As if the Attentress has the time for diversions. I've been here for longer than she. I merely reward the odd seeker of thrills, and none harm me. But don't worry, you're good with me. Here to play my game. If you fare well, you may be a reward. Ah, then we shall begin. Please board the platform. Ah, okay, so I have to stay on the platform. Oh, does Horace climb as well? I have to beat Horace up. That's cool. That's my guess. 
Oh. No, the spikes keep keep rising. There you are. Hey, man. Yeah, so I wasn't exactly expecting this, but... I'm adapting. I would say you get to live, but it looks like I don't get to live, so... Tough luck about it. Keep moving. Oop, that's not the path. That's not the path. Oop. Ooh, this is I actually really enjoy this game because it's it's the platforming section of the game churned into a mini game. So it's like already the highly polished platforming made into a polished shine of its own. I like this. Alright. Well, made a mistake. You performed admirably, but the goal remains elusive. Perhaps you'd like to try again sometime. Sometime. I'm gonna try that again. You know, I'm coming back here to try that after I beat every boss. Like, each time I win. Oh, hey! This stuff Uffy Keep is no place for warriors. But the meat is plentiful. I may sit here for a while yet. Alright, so they all come here. Okay, I get it. I get it. Come on, doggo. Let's play. I need to find a way to strike less powerfully. Alright. So before I buy that, I do have something to check. You here. I need Cloak of Clemency. Because I just like the idea. My heart grows cold. Alright, Spider Scythe. Throw a scythe which climbs over obstacles. Sure. We'll see it. And I like how each of them is well guarded, so it gives you a tutorial. That's a cool way of doing it. More curse. Alright. Ooh, gaining gold in the process, it looks like. Ooh, I'm worried about that one. Alright, so it doesn't break obstacles like that. Good to know. Ooh. Excellent, and away we go. Alright. So this guy seems to be the place where I spend my skulls. Might as well buy them all. Oh, he just need to throw it away, because he realized none of them were his beloved. Alright, so what's this last one? Unleash a powerful close range strike. Ooh. Alright, so there is a long pause, and I have to be wary of that. Oof. But oh my gosh, yeah, that's a powerful strike. And it does move you forward as well. That's pretty useful. Yeah, I like that. Not always useful, but nice utility to have. And we found everything. Good to know. Alright. We have a cloak. I think we'll get the ghostly garb next. So we'll be using the rest of this money, upgrading our equipment. Let's see what everything's upgrades are. So, passes through obstacles and recovers gold. Increases in size and recovers gold. 
Resists interruptions and increases attack range. Yields even more will. I think I want at least one will school increase. Oh, there's only one upgrade. Okay, cool. Cool. That actually makes it easier to decide. Alright, well we have a big, good healing skull when we need it. Otherwise, we have no simple issues. That's good. Alright. Well, next time, we'll figure out what it's like in... Should I do Plague Knight or Key Knight? You know what? I'm gonna clear out the left side. I'm, gonna... I'm obviously gonna start with all the thousand gold ones. I'm gonna go with Key Knight next. Anyways, until then, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Gotta figure out what my voicing is. You all have a wonderful day! Since I had like Mickey Mouse at the end there. Alright. I got 10 out of 10 schools in both places. That's good. That is good. <clears throat> Hey everyone, welcome back to Plague Knight. Resetting, because I did that again. Hey, ev hey everyone, welcome back to Spectre Knight. We just finished up the Stranded Ship and getting Polar Knight here. Cool that they decided that Polar Knight they, for um, Spectre Knight was too easy, so he had to be one of the early ones. Same way, Key Knight. My lord, are you prepared to visit Pridemore Keep? Yep. Key Knight makes sense being one of the bosses here. Simple enough. Blight the Earth. So yeah, after that one guy told me there was a secret if I go left. I've just been... Okay. Going left every time. Hey! I know what I'm doing, everyone. Has anyone ever questioned me? I obviously know what I'm doing. Nope. Whew. Quality moves. We get Yacht Club's Gates, Victory Lils. Oh, let's not throw it into the ground below. Into the gold below. Oh. They did say the renovations were not going as well as Key Knight hoped. Not much of a threat. Alright, yeah. That's okay. Not everyone has to be threatening. Alright. We're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna stick with this cloak and upgrade all equipment later, because this cloak is gonna just make sure bombless pits aren't a threat to me. Alright, we have enemies coming up, so I'm gonna restore my health, even though I know I can restore even more if I waited, because we're getting darkness back from killing these things. Oof. Woo. Luckily that one have killed us anyways, but still scary to fall like that. Alright, simple enough. This is definitely a very different stage. This is not normal Primark keep. ourselves a little more soul, because why not? Or darkness. Uh... Like, this is a bit different enemy. Why? Because I use them as a resource here. Alright. Oof. Darkness upgrades, no! That's okay. Right. If 
Okay, let's shoot, and then... Ooh. Alright. Wow. that uh so I can hit through there so I can jump off that wall got it got it I like the puzzles here feels like proper platform challenges uh Oh well. Yep. Woo. Do I go down? I guess. All right. Not the clearest thing, but okay. Come on, get me back up there. Aw, oh, man. Well, I missed something up there. That is unfortunate. Let's hope it just wasn't too important, because I sure missed something up there. Oof. I think this is going to be my main default weapon that I could switch out to the Claw Strike. And that works out. So my Scythe is a lot more versatile than I thought I could see that. Yeah, definitely, like, the platforming here is, like, much more focused and detailed. And it definitely, you can feel it. You can feel the work put into this. Alright. Oh. The two shots? Alright, well, I'm out. Alright. Two shots. Again, two shots. There are these waiting puzzles, unfortunately. I'm sure you could do that faster, but that was the speed that made sense. Yeah, with all this will. Yeah, I have a feeling that like this is actually going to be a lot easier because I now no longer die to pit traps. And I have all this will early on. Like, I have a feeling that 
I'm just gonna die much, much less than in the pre previous two iterations of the game. Oh, I know. Perfect for this guy. There we are. Don't worry. Don't die to spikes anyways. Now this looks like the way you got the... Oh. I see. And we get to pick that up to just max out our darkness. Thank you. I'm like, where do you even get to that? It took me a little, took me five seconds. Yeah, that's a dangerous one. I will say there's also the fact that, like, I think everyone who plays Spectre Knight is expected to have already played Shovel Knight and the, you know, the previous iterations of the game. The loyal lapdog, here to do your master's bidding, hmm? Chasing your tail around the valley must be tiring. In fact, you looked like death. Ah, ah, ah. As our leader suspected, you dwaddle away at nobility. I've been tasked with setting you back on schedule. What should I do? Grab a shovel and start digging? Just think about it makes me my flawless face lush. Work is for commoners, but I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Watch. Oh! Alright. Well, that is a lot of damage, let me tell you that much. I like the cards much better than um, the confetti, because it's a lot easier to see. But yeah, it turns out, pits still deal absurd amounts of damage. Doesn't insta-kill, yes. But that's high, that is high, high damage. Suddenly I'm not sure if this one is even much worth it. All right, okay, come on. Oh, press the wrong button, my fault entirely. I mean, I'm the one pressing buttons. Oh, whoa, that's a lot of health healing, though. Okay, makes sense. So now, pits don't kill me outright, but they do mean I need to gather darkness to actually heal myself up. But my gosh, I did not realize that spell healed me that much. Okay, well, I think we're staying with this equipment, then. Definitely. Beautiful sunsets once more. 
Oh, do we get a story pee? Why they want to be alive? We're almost there. I can feel it. Indeed. And a long journey it's been. Onward. So this is Donovan. So we're Donovan. Press onward. Oh, yep, this is my fine style. Cool. Sick. Kyle Chops. Press the scare spikes in front of unsuspecting foes. Ooh. Oh yeah, I have mana now, because I'm alive. Ah, I see. Cool. Ooh. Alright, so this is like the first area, but... Ooh. There we are. Ooh. And I think with just the Caltrop. Ooh. Yeah, this is cool. Right. Like how you have just this buddy kind of lifting you up. I'm assuming this buddy is why they want to be alive again. Or at least plays a crucial role in it. But I like that. The way the Caltrops help you deal with fast enemies like that very easily. Well, we did not have the special equipment I just got, so... Hurts. I'm not sure I'm supposed to get that. Alright, well, I guess I lost some money, but we got some money back, so... Ah, let's say we stop here for the night. Donovan, as a father, I'm worried about him. Do you think the amulet will truly protect him from all harm? Your body has much to learn about the world, certainly. But if this trick is as powerful as they say, I, I can hope the legends hold true. Don't worry, we won't be leaving empty-handed. Come now, let's rest, and tomorrow we will find out for ourselves. So they went to the Tower of Fate to help a kid. Ooh, a kid. Maybe that's what this is all about, actually. Maybe that's what this is actually all about. But we have the locket right there in us. Did stop us from dying. Not in any significant way. Alright. Let's try the challenge! One more time, sir. One more time. Care to play the game? Farewell, there may be a reward. Alright. Alright. And let's move! Oh. Ignore him. Keep moving. Oof. Because that thing's only gonna go up faster and faster. I'm only gonna have less and less time. Like so. Well, that one didn't go very long. That one didn't go very long, but we at least know that we'll still gain money from it, which is pretty nice. There's Key Knight. Oh, look at the sniveling servant. Here to weigh on me. Hey, you, servant. Yes, you. More chicken at once. <laughs> Glamorous. Well. 
I thought they were all going to be added at Polar Night, which is the big one in the center. My heart grows cold. I've located new curios by finding red schools. Shadow Mirror, cast reflection, and attack from distance. Alright. Let's see where our new curio is. But I like how you just get the extra rooms give you these schools, which allow you to get the actual mirror. Uh... Hold up. This one isn't as cursed, it seems. Ah, oh, I see. Alright, so every time I attack, it uses soul. Okay. Or it uses darkness. Cool, that works. That's interesting. That's an interesting one. I don't like its positioning, though. Of course. Sorry, doggo. Okay, come on. There we are. Gotta make sure the doggo gets their toy. I wonder. Nope. Seems like none of them interact with the toy, just my regular scythe. Oh well. Good to check now. Alright. What do our upgrades do? Reflection extends further and can pick up items. I think, so first of all, I want to recover gold with a scythe that goes under the ground. So that's definitely grabbed first. Alright. So, resists interruptions and increases attack range, or reflection extends further and can pick up items. I think we'd go with Dread Talon. Alright. I think that's all the stuff we need to buy. That's all the stuff we need to care about there. So, we'll keep going. And next time, The Last of Thousand Gold 1, Plague Knight. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Alright, Plague Knight taken care of. Hey everyone, welcome back to Spectre Knight. And with the other knights all killed, I missed the skull in Primor Keep. That's good to know. We're gonna continue with Plague Knight. Yeah, this, so Plague Knight, it feels both shorter because of the um, speed at which you kill the enemies that, like the way that you can move, like you don't have to like go through a map, you just kind of go into areas. So I would not be surprised if Plague Knight, um, like, if this is a version of the game that I might actually come back to want to do, like, 100% this one. Oh, I could keep bouncing them. That's interesting. Alright. I remember that stores a ton of will, so let's actually save that up. Go. To gain the gold. Plague Knight, just with their base weapon, is just so much stronger. Yep, and then we just get Apple Cores anyways. Moving. 
Ah. All right, hold up. We want to wait for that platform so I can grab these. Got that skull. Always feels good. Oop. So now they. I do like how they added these additional challenges because um, Spectre Knight is just so different. Alright. Let's heal up. I didn't even realize there was a wall. I was just like about to jump for the school. Afterwards, but knew it now. All right, gotta move. Got it. Awesome. Got my skull. Got my way out. Always good. Always good. Say that for another day. Oh, what am I doing? There's literally meat right there to grab. Oh well. We got our darkness back rather quickly anyways. Good, always good. Oof. Yeah, I like the design of this. Like, they knew Spectre Knight was more mobile, so they could give him greater threats. They made really cool threats. There we are. Well, he's just on the opposite side. That's great. Alright. This doesn't seem like much of a fight. Maybe he's about to throw a trick at me that I wasn't expecting, but until then... Ooh. Oh wait, hold up. See if this is a path. Nope, okay. Good to know, good to know. Alright.
It's okay, we're a little low on darkness, but we'll make up for it. Besides, I'm pretty sure this is the lap where we increase our max darkness, so... Fine. Hey. Go. I wonder. Alright. Worth a shot. Awesome. Yeah, I really like the increasing this so that it had better range with just all of its damage, I think was a good move on my part. Right? Oh, right, right, right. I actually now remember the room where I'm like, no, I missed something. And then I just kept going because I. Well, money, doggo. I guess. Sorry, doggo. But you had money in ya. Alright, time for me to actually use this guy. Probably. Maybe not. Nope. Guess not. And all that work turned out... They just had a backup path in. It's honestly this water, like, making sure I don't go the wrong direction with it. That's being an issue right now. There we go. Ignore those guys. Keep moving. Awesome. I think this is the last checkpoint, and we can actually face the boss now. Alright. Move on in. What? <laughs> How? Someone called the embalmer? This is one past its prime. What are you even doing here? Show yourself. I've come to offer you the position of court alchemist to the Enchantress. Join us and her army of invincible knights. Oh, you don't say. Sounds important. Invincible knights or invisible knights. Tell me more. <laughs> Boom. You're clearly not paying attention. Perhaps my scythe will get through to you. Come on. Definitely added more things to that fight, but did not matter. Alright. Well. Plague Knight? I do like that, that they're like making it harder because this character is so versatile. Uh, I feel like Plague Knight is what this game should have been when they first made it. Like it has just so many so many things that I thought were I like, kept ragging about in Shovel Knight and Plague Knight. They just like fixed perfectly. Like immediate first thing, cheapest armor deals with the pits of of immediate death. Like they know what they're doing. It's like I'm not sure they knew what they were doing, but once they got to play Spectre Knight, they're like, "All right, we figured it out." All right. Always one chip up with Horus. Alright. Let's do this. Actually do it properly this time. Oh. Skip the first part. Interesting. We're gonna do another trip. That was just... That was unexpected. That was just unreasonably bad. 
just... That was not... <laughs> oh, maybe it's... Um... It has, like, certain routes, and, like, it connects them randomly. And so, like, what was usually my second route became my first route. That would make sense. Because, yeah... care about fighting you. I just need to keep going. Come on. Whew. Come on. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Come on, recover, recover. I can still recover. I don't need to fight you. I just can keep moving. Ooh. Ah, I landed on the ground, which pr which made it so I didn't do my launch. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, I just realized. I'm not sure I got Plague Knight's benefit. This tower sure is see, sure is seeing a <laughs> burst of activity lately. Business is booming. Uh, I'm having <laughs> a blast. Oh, and we have new people. The Explodatorium is definitely our family, our only headquarters. Yep, you can always find Plague Knight there. He doesn't ever leave and go anywhere. I really promise. Alright. And what about you people? Nope. Can't talk with the people that are part of the background. Oh well. Ooh. You got any more? Binding soul. Free a lost soul which reflects off of surfaces. Let's see what this does. Seems like a, some sort of bouncing attack. Right? Every area is cursed, honestly. Alright, just... Excellent. Alright. So yeah, here's the theme. So this person here... Oof. So really quick... Miss a whisk check. Yep. Alright, so it's only 4,000. That's cool. All stays within a consistent time frame. Because yeah, I missed that whisk chest. Definitely don't want to lose that. Hey, how's it going, Kratos? You know, just finishing up the last few things. How did I miss that school? Well, I didn't miss it anymore. Alright, so which one do we want to upgrade? Let's see. Cuts through enemies and recovers gold. Alright, more recovering gold. Extends further. We're gonna get the longer soul shadow mirror. Alright. And we need a 2000 to enter the next fight. Oh, you got a new dog, Kratos? Super cute. Cool to hear it. Just, yeah, dogs are always tiny. Cute little doggos. Alright. I think I'm gonna save the Phantom Striker for quite a bit. So, we're gonna go with the Mole Knight into Treasure Knight, and then we'll take the Striker. Alright, well, we'll do that next time. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Anyways, that's just for YouTube. But, hey, how's it going? Yeah, that's just for YouTube. We're about to jump back into it in just a sec. You have a tiny little dog? How many weeks old is the little, is the little doggo? Ours, we named it Coco. Just, it's a... It's a stupid little story. Not my, not sure if it's mine to tell, but yeah, just cute little doggo. It's been several months since then. We got at three weeks, which was rough. And not just... I guess that is a little comedy theme. I think two months. Yep. Alright. So yeah, at two months, they can actually... they Eight weeks is when they can get their last of their shots. 
So we had the issue of we had this little rambunctious toddler running around the house that we had to be careful what it chews on because it doesn't have any shots. So ours was a little tougher, but yours probably already had the shots by the time you bought it, which makes it just a cute little doggo and very, aw. I love cute little doggos. All that's left is to train them, you know? We got all of them in Explodatorium, so we literally are just missing Pride more Keep, that one school. Yeah, she took all our shots. Alright. I just realized you need gold on each one of these. If I end up not having enough gold, I could come back to Pride more Keep to gate gold and to get that skull. That's cool. That's cool. Alright. Huh. You're a human food, she runs over to eat your food. Yep. We have an older dog, and when we feed the older dog, she runs to try to eat the older dog's food. That's an issue that we keep running into. Ugh. Alright, I'm gonna start up the next episode. Um, she only sleep when she smell. Oh, so she runs to- Ah. Still love one- Yeah, doggos. They don't- They definitely didn't sleep. We were- the doggo didn't sleep in our case. Yeah, no. She always kept us up. Always kept us up. Ugh. Took us a while to get her potty trained. I just remember we, like, built... We, like, made pee pads and just built a fortification in the living room. Just, like, we had fit, um, our little tables as fencing. And we just, like, took all the pee pads and just barricaded the entire flooring two layers deep. And she still nearly got through sometimes. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Ugh. She's gonna sleep in my room. She's less than... Gosh. Yeah, no, no. At, that's a maximum... For those of you guys in America like me, that's a maximum of four pounds. Like, that's... That's scary small. Yep. Oof. But yeah, keep... Yeah, definitely keep her safe. Keep her cute. She's gonna keep you up all night. Like, that's just something you're gonna have to accept for a little while. As you teach her how to do it. Do you have, like, a cage to give her? Um... Or kennel, I guess would be the proper term. Um, I remember we used the kennel, and one of the things that we kept, we got noted afterwards is never put her into the kennel as punishment, only to try to get her, like, one time to sleep and stuff like that. The thing is, it's like, well, telling her it's time to go to bed is kind of punishment for a little doggo, so sucks for that case. Uh, my fear is when I wake up in midnight, ended up stepping on her. Yeah, that's why, um... For small dogs, it's probably a good idea to have them sleep in a kennel or something of that nature. They'll, if they're in your room, if the kennel's in your room like we did, um, they'll bark when they need to get out, and then you could take them to the bathroom at 2 in the morning. That's basically what we had to do. Um, yeah. You need a fence to not hear in the night, basically. Yep, that's what we did. We got lucky because this is our fourth dog? Let's see. Yeah, this is... So this is my fourth dog, and my family's, like, sixth dog, so... Yeah, we have some experience with this, fortunately. Though, that doesn't mean it's easy. It just means it's, we know what... It means it's easier, it doesn't mean it's easy. It doesn't mean it goes smoothly, it means um, we know how to rotate from one thing to the next. Ugh. Anyways, I'm going to be starting up the next fight, so... Oof. Deep breaths. <coughs> <coughs> but yeah, glad to hear you got your doggo credits, you know. Glad to hear. I know how hard... Like, I know how it hit you when you lost your dog. By the way, I have a question. Do you feel like you waited long enough? Do you feel like you were ready for this dog? That is a good question to ask. Because, like, I think we got our dog too early, but in the end, I'm glad we got her. I'm glad we got the dog, but definitely got her too early. Hmm. You're not ready at all. Because I lost two in less than... Oh, you lost two? Oh my god, I didn't... I'm so sorry, I didn't realize it was that was the second one. Uh, yeah, no, no, you didn't. It's like... We still sometimes accidentally call our dog by the name of the one that just passed, because it's just like... We're still processing in a certain extent. It's like... Yeah, no. It's hard. Not denying it. Not denying it. Definitely, it's good to keep moving, but at the same time, it's like, can we... The problem with, like, our dogs is we don't buy them from, like, pounds. We buy them from people that have certain situations, so... It's not like we can wait four months and then another 
and then um, pick up the dog four months later. It's like, it's here now. It just got born. Like, as we said, three weeks old. They weren't even waiting till it got all its shots. They're like, we gotta let it go. So we had to go in there and get it, you know? So, yeah. Sometimes you just don't have time. And you just kind of grieve as you're going. It's unfortunate. It's not how you want to do it. This dog is just to heal my mother. Well, I'm... I hope your mother's doing a lot better then. Yeah. Yeah, I hope it helps her. Exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, definitely the theme with that is it's like one of those things where I'm gonna help the dog so that the dog could be cute around mom because little do doggos aren't always cute. They piss and poop and someone has to clean it up. And so it's like one person cleans it up so that the other person... Well, what was the theme? Um, I remember my sister joking about like Oh yeah, I don't need to have kids, because I have all- I, like, the- a bunch of her friends had kids. And so, she's like, oh, I get to hold the kid, that's just cute, you wrap in your arms. And then starts crying and pissing, and I get to hand it over to the actual parent to deal with the job. It's one of those things where it's like, it's a cute, beautiful thing to have. But also comes with a lot of responsibility. And someone's gonna have to pick up that responsibility, because if you don't, the healing becomes a burden in its own right, and the unfortunate part where you still need to grieve and then you're the one picking up the responsibility, but I know you love your mother, and like I know you care about the situation you're going through, so hope for the best, Grass, you know. I'm hoping for the best for you, man. Oof. Alright. Yeah, stay safe. Stay safe. I'm going to take a few deep breaths. And then I'm gonna get into getting this thing set up so I can actually make it a YouTube video. Yeah. Hope for the best for you two. Yeah, things are going pretty well for. I think for the general, in the general sense, things are going well for me. So, I'll be all right. I'll be all right, kind of. You know, we got through the hard part. Dad's taking a lot of the burden, so I'm getting the cute part. And we got to the point where she's potty trained well. And really, what we need to do is just make sure she stops like grabbing our shoes and running away. So, we're pretty good. We have. My dad has, we have good experience, as I said. We have good experience, so it makes that hard part a lot easier for us. Uh, one time you need to show her on stream. Yeah, but right now she's napping, and I'll make sure to do it one of these days. Maybe once she's bigger. But yeah, she's, I think she's actually like a purebred Great Dane or something like that. I don't remember the situation, but she's a Great Dane. And it's just like this, or no, not Great Dane, Black Lap. There, there it is. It's purebred of one of those and it's just like, her ears are like perky up. It's just this cute little theme. Her. Um, all our dogs are female. Dad, Dad has a reasoning for it, but... Uh... Yeah, no, no, no. Um, it's a, it's a dog that right now... Like, as I said, this dog is like two, maybe three months old. And it's, um, a good... Let's see, you go in kilos. So, it's still less than ten kilos, but it's getting up there already. And it's only a month or... It's only like two months old. Two or three months old. So, it's going to become a big dog. It's going to become... Yeah. Yeah, no, no. It's going to become a big dog. That's the point. We love our big doggos. We always buy the runts of the big breeds. That's usually what we do. So, we chose the runt of the litter. Yeah, ten times the size of your dog. Um, it's not... I don't think it's at ten kilos yet. No, no, no. It's... We're going to say five kilos for now. We're going to say five kilos for now. It's still small. I'm used to them being real big, because that's how we like our doggos. But, yeah, we'll say 5 kilos, 10 pounds in American terminology, so. But, yeah, she's getting hefty. Still could pick her up in one arm, but I have to, you know, work to pick her up on that one arm. You like huge dogs, too? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to take a deep breath, and then I'm going to start up the Lost City Mole Knight. Whew. Hey everyone, welcome back to Spectre Knights. Last time we took care of the Explodatorium, I believe. And so now we're heading to the 2000 gold areas. And I decided to start with Moon Knight. Later we'll go Treasure Knight, and then finally, Phantom Striker. Let's start it off. Let's get ourselves ready and get through. Whoa.
stop right there. Raze is here to save the day. Raze? The one and only, Uncle said, there's evil stuff going on in here. And when evil's afoot, Raze is on the rise. Childish. You didn't know you don't belong in this place. Run along before you get hurt. Who dares to intrude on my tower? Hey lady, my name's Reese. Are you here to help me beat these guys up? Oh. <laughs> Looking for an apprentice of your own, Spectre Knight. He's nobody. Just a naive kid. Lempy. I'll escort him out myself. A nobody, you say? Well, that just won't do. Let's make something of him, shall we? Ah, so we're actually gonna have a fight. What are you doing to me? The darkness? It hurts! Stop! <laughs> so potent. <laughs> now this is the kind of feeling I could get used to. Put him up, Skitty. Why don't we take my new powers for a spin? Alright, gotta learn how the fight works, and then... Oh, wow. Alright, we're gonna have that soul theme ready, because I have a feeling we're gonna need to use it soon. Ooh! Ooh. Alright, so it's like if I approach him when I'm... When he's not prepared for it. Yeah, when he's just walking around, I can't approach him. At least that's what it feels like. Oh, he stays up there. That was actually a point of attack I could have made. The Enchantress just looks like she's the Earth for fun, because this is actively making it worse for her to have this guy running around trying to stop her, but she just made him stronger, so... I think the Enchantress, whatever the reasoning is, they're just looking for fun. Alright, take it care of. Healed is always overpowered. Oh, how delightful. I'm impressed, Reese. Perhaps I could find use of you around here. Let's see, that nervous accolade is certainly unfit to guard this mirror. Take his place, if you would. Of course, my master. I can destroy can I destroy him? Not too hasty, my child. He can ponder his fate in the dungeon. And you stop wasting my time. Return to the task at hand, and do not fail me again. Okay. Well then. Well, this is a prologue, so Rees... Oh my god. Does that mean Rees is gonna be the one that destroys his own city, and then he finally breaks the curse? Ugh. That will hurt. Well then, pop it. Out with it. Where shall I send you next? Mole Knight? You sure you won't go to the Lost City, Underling? Boom. I love how that flash occurs. Alright. So, okay, so we have bouncy cubes as the new mechanic. Cool. I have to be careful because I only bounce once before it breaks. Oh! And it just matters once I touch them, not when I... That was unfortunate. Alright. I have a recovery solution. Uh, almost. I just need to slash one more time on the ground to get it into position. My mistake. But now we know how that works. So, we lost some money on the way, but... Uh, generally a positive. Uh, ooh! We're gonna fight you for it. It's a good thing I have that special. Ooh, 
Oh no. Is that enough? Gosh. Alright. Can I reach that, but not this? Okay, I can reach this. For some reason, I felt like I couldn't reach this one. Alright. Well, yep. Let it in a pit and didn't die. Myself some healing. So I'm sure that's not the only pet I'll be running into. Oh, now we actually get to the entrance. That's actually kind of funny. This is where um, you usually start the um, theme as Mole Knight and the others. Alright, this is a fake one. That's. That was a mistake on my part, to say the least. Well, we lost Doggo. Sad Doggo. My fault, Doggo. Just don't jump so I don't trigger those. Well, it worked. Not exactly what I was ex planning to do, but worked nonetheless. Taken care of. Ooh. Ooh. Woo. We now know another mechanic. Goo lanterns, which knock you backwards into the direction you were. Alright. Let's really quick heal. And I want this scythe, if I ever get the stamina to use it. There we are. Right, well, I do want to kill him, so... Whew. And we have all our mana back, so let's use some of it here. Alright. Oh. And that's where I could have gone. Is this a bottomless pit? It is. Alright. Well, that's why I carry this armor, so I can check bottomless pits like that and not die horribly for that, for my decisions. Oof. All right, just keep going. Oh, hey, got it. But yeah, using enemies as platforms is a sign that you've figured out your system of movement well. Alright. Okay. I can't believe I got hit by that. There we go. Oh, 
some. Okay. Alright, awesome. Getting all the skulls, getting all the money. Like, everything seems to be, like, stationed at 4,000 gold, so... As long as that remains consistent, we know exactly how much every... Like, as long as everything is worth 4,000 gold, the price of things remains consistent in a effective way. Alright. No idea why that's... Oh. Thanks, enemy. Oof. Yeah, that feeds white. Ah, right, right, right. So let's use that. Quickly gain my energy back. Awesome. Woo! Wait, I think I just died because I can't get across now. Because, yeah, if I leave the ground, I die. So, uh, that was... Surprisingly dangerous. Alright. Well. Well, that deals less damage than the firewall, so I would say that a success. Alright, to get the skull, I just need to do that. Move that over here. Simple enough. Oh, turn it into... Whew. I see. Figuring it all out, making it all work. Gosh, I love this attack. Let's grab this real quick. Alright, wait for it, and there we are. I was supposed to use those enemies as platforms, Wes and I. Oh, no, no, no. I could use the wall. I could use the wall. Thank goodness. I just realized we are in the, like, sunken city, and we just hit the surface. I feel like this is, a, like, a completely new area. Like, usually we don't hit the surface while in this area of the game. All right. Oh boy. Thank you, Scythe. Thank you, close range DPS. So you could actually see the ravens in there. Alright, so now we're back in. Feels like we're back in too. 
All right. With this, we get all of our boosts. Break time is over. Are you in the right place? Ready to continue the dig? Very much so. In fact, I'm here with a business proposal. The Enchantress has need of excavators, and wishes to employ the best. What? Who? What? Well, you found the best! The best at digging! My claws are sharp! My techniques are flawless! Excellent. Then you only need... But I'm absolutely not looking for new work. And break time is over! I like how goo is the more dangerous option. <laughs> oh my gosh. Goo really is the more dangerous option with this fight. It's cool. Let's take them off to work. Sounds good. Thank you, Moon Knight. Thank you for your most for assisting us in the process. All right. Remember, I need to make sure I have two thousand gold for the next game for the next area. All right. You know, I should try jumping off one of these times. I'm gonna wait till I actually spend my money. Alright, as always, we get one game with Hector. Or Horus. My apologies, Horus. For the misunderstanding. Alright. a jump. Oh god. Oh god. Ah. Uh, was too low when I ran into that. Oh well. I know I could do Horus's challenge. I'm certain I can. I just like, I need to be ready because it's like one mistake is all it takes. So. Oh. Ah, Spectre, I'm working on my technique for a killer in your move. Brace yourself for the kiss of death. What? Oh. <laughs> uh, it didn't work because I. Oh, he killed himself. <laughs> well, that was killer move, sir. Are they bringing my bread out? Ask for more bread. Everything up here takes forever. Could you go ask about the bread? Yo, what do you think about the bread? No, I think I actually have to ask this guy down here about the bread. Well, I'm all juiced up. Desmarais are just poignant. Thanks for sticking your neck out for me. Of course. We need bread. Oof. Alright. Keep going. Chronos coin slows out everything around you. Ooh, let's see how that fares. Oh, all right. So it uses some. All right. Okay, I need to wait for the proper timing. So right around there. Nope. I have to wait longer. Darn it. Just trying to figure out. There we are. Yeah. 
And yeah, that is actually the speed these guys move, so. My god. Brilliant. Ooh. I think that entire thing is possible without slowing down time. Just very precise, I'm assuming. I think I got it all. Alright, Clockwork Tower and Lich Yard are where the other two are. Good to know. I think I'm going to Clockwork Tower next, so... Be running into that. Alright. Slows for even longer. Cuts through enemies and recovers gold. Yeah, we're going to go for Cornless Coin. And... Is it Bounding Soul or is it Throwing Sickle? I think it's Bounding Soul. And we're stopping here because we need enough gold to enter the next area. Because if we forget that, we have other issues. Alright. No! We need to get it to the doggo. I need to apologize for throwing it into the lava. I throw it. Yep. What if I could take it out of here? You know what? I'm going to try that. Let's get the doggo. What the? Whoa! This is awesome! I can perform lots of sword stabs and armor like this. It's going to put in for a transfer to the Lost City immediately. Dude, there's just random little stuff. There we are. Alright, so it doesn't chase down there. Alright. Yeah, there's just random little cool intricacies. That's cool. There's even that. Can I talk to this guy when he floats down? Ooh, I bounce off the walls! I love being a burner! Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it, buddy. Fortunately, still not enough for me to spend money, but pretty nice. Pretty nice. Alright. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Alright. So I might be able to do one more before we close up shop, and that's a mite. Alright. Pull the puppy. So you start next. Alright, next is Iron Whale Treasure Knight. I'm gonna use... No, I'm looking at my time frame. I do not have the time to continue this. My apologies, everyone. So, it looks like this is gonna be where we stop for today. But, yeah, Spectre Knight's cool. This, if I 100% any of the um, Shovel Knight games, it's Spectre Knight. And yes, it actually has a lot to do with the fact that the Cloak of Clemency is a theme. I hate to tell you that, but yes, that is actually the case. Alright, so you don't kill your allies anymore. At least not on this one. All right, well. Quit to desktop. I'm gonna be. Um... Oh, one last thing. Let's try jumping off the cliff. One last thing. All right, so that's just a bombless pit. Good to know. Good to know. Alright. Well, yep. I am going back to the top screen. Alright. Well, with that taken care of, let's go raid a channel. Day9 can't be the only person currently live on Twitch that I've... Day9's the only person currently live on Twitch. And just so you know, I don't actually um, raid Day9. He doesn't have a theme that helps a response to it. So, if you guys have any suggestions of who to raid, 
I'll raid them. Otherwise, I think I'm just gonna end up um, drop. I mean, I'll raid day nine still. Just it's a very different. He's a big streamer, so I watch him for Magic Gathering content and stuff like that. So if anyone has a has a suggestion, you have a few seconds left. Ah, all right. Well, let's raid day nine. Not, he's not even going to see it, chat, so I'm not even going to stay around to do the raid. But, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. I do appreciate for you sticking around this long. But yeah, I'm not even going to stick around for day nights, because it's just, it's not the surf theme in this case. I think that what I need to do is make sure that I'm continuously making arms. Let's rally all of them out here. Huh, that seems fair. So we're not entirely sure what villain is going to